Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day Houston. Our first guest coined the phrase God Wink, a message from above that reminds you that you're never alone. The duo have written several books on the topic, and their newest title, God Wink Christmas Stories, continues to share how coincidences aren't just coincidences at all. Instead, they say it's a supernatural hotline from God. And here to share more are best-selling mm -hmm. authors Squire Rushnell and Louise Duarte. Hello. Hey. Good to see y'all again. Yes. Yes. Oh, we love coming. Great day. Great day. Great day. I <laughs> love that. I love that. Oh, my gosh. Real good um, beat to it. <laughs> you all have been with us for quite some time. Yeah. From the beginning of this whole idea yes. of a God wink. Yeah. And I was just sharing that with somebody the other day, and they went, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. and give the definition of what a God wink is. A God wink is a new word in the language that is one of those little coincidences you know is not coincidence, but comes from a divine source. Yeah. And once you see them, you see them all the time. Yeah. And you realize that there's something more. There's there's a connection that you've been missing all along. Yeah, because so many times we get busy and we start directing our lives, right? Yeah. And we don't pay oh, attention yeah. to those little cues that yeah. could put us where yeah. we need to go. Um, you two came together as a couple because yes. of a God wink. That's true. Yes, That's we true. Uh, Forty years ago, yeah. Squire gave me my first job in television. He saw me at Madison Square Garden and with a green face, a long nose, and a wart on it, <laughs> which I've since had removed. She was cute. And. Um, yeah. And he saw, I was playing a makeup Poo. artist, people. Yeah. Trying makeup artist. Okay. <laughs> so I was playing a character called Witchy Poo. Mm -hmm. And he was working with the Croft brothers, who yeah. were doing a lot of the TV series on ABC. And Squire was running uh, ABC, mm -hmm. uh, children's television. And they were looking for one last person, a comedian, to fill this spot. And Squire said, Well, what about that girl who played Witchy Poo? I don't know her name. And they said, Oh, okay. And that's how my career started in television. And it was 40 years later. It took me 40 years to get him to marry me, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was a long time. You, you've run into so many different couples, so you decided to, to make this a series because everybody had these stories of yes. this cannot just be a coincidence. This right, is something right. bigger than that. Not quite a miracle, but um, you know, yeah. it's, but something that is a message that we need to hear. Yeah. So when God winks at you, so you wrote that book. So when God winks at you, what? Mm -hmm. When God winks at you, you know that you are receiving a person-to-person -person call out of seven billion people on the planet wow. right to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You are special. Mm -hmm. So a God wink makes you special. What do some of those winks look like? I know we've shared so many of them uh, over the years, a lot mm -hmm. of them right here out of uh, you know, our community. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. But what, what are the ones that stand out to you where you go, wow? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we live our lives forward, but we really understand it backwards. Yeah. So we, we see the God wings sometimes, even when we look back in our lives, do an archaeological dig mm -hmm. and find out when you were at a crossroads in your life, if you went through yeah. a, you, losing someone or divorce or, or having a baby or a new career that started, in, there'll be God wings there. You just have to look for them. There's signposts along your path yeah. that say to you, hey kid, I'm looking at you. I'm gonna make sure that you're gonna be okay. And you know, there's a great Proverbs 3, 6 says, in all your ways acknowledge me and I shall direct your steps. When we pray, when we acknowledge God, it releases more God wings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember yeah. Uh, there was a woman here who had one of those POW bracelets from the 70s. Yes. yes. And I you know I had mine too, I don't know where it is, but yeah. she ran across hers yes. Yes. and um, happened to go to a, an Astros game that she wasn't planning on yes. going to. Yep. And she went to the game and one of the, the vets that they were honoring, they called his name and she went, yeah. that's him. Yes. That's, that's him. Right. She always tried to find him. And they're, you know, she's like, that's a God way. Yes. She goes, yes. you can't, you can't plan that, him. right? That she was found after him. 40 yeah. years. Yes. yes. Yeah. <clears throat> All yeah. right. By the way, can I just say the God way? Guess who we stay with every time we come to Houston? Jane Ellis, who is that girl? Oh we my gosh! Yes. Okay, that's the story. Like okay, right dear there. friend. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. wow. Okay, yeah. you guys, I always thought that was such a touching story, but there's so many of those. But we met her through um, that Godwin because we were writing her story and fell in love with her. Yeah. And her husband's so great, and they invited us to stay with them, and we just kind of. Well, never I'm left. coming over tonight yeah, too. Right. Then. <laughs> okay. Um, so you, you also um, were are very strong in your marriage because you're very strong in your faith. Yes. You say yes. It's the faith first that creates that marriage. Uh, you did the 40-day prayer challenge and couples who pray. Mm -hmm. Your new book, God Wink Christmas Stories. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful stories. There Beautiful. are yeah. 30 stories mm -hmm. in this little book and every story is is a heartwarming story for the holidays. Yeah. But can I tell you a story? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you a story. There's a story that it doesn't seem heartwarming in the beginning, but it's one of our classic Godwink stories. Mm -hmm. Jerry Ponson 
just before Christmas was uh, was doing something that he had done several years before. He took his old friend Mac out duck hunting and they would get up in the dark very early in the morning cast off the dog Booga would come along with Mac his his old dog and and Jerry would take his friend off to go duck hunting now Jerry is a fisherman so he knows the water very well there it's about eight feet deep until you get out to the channel and it drops off and that's where the big boat boats can come by on this particular morning just a few weeks before Christmas he had no idea how he had gotten into this predicament because he had never checked the weather and they got out almost to the channel and a nor'wester came in and it took that little boat and it upended it they were in the waters all he had in the boat was a 10-foot pole he jammed it down eight feet of water he was able to hit bottom and at least they had something to hold on to he's holding on to Mac the old man and every once in a while he say Mac hold on to the pole and he'd let the dog Booga rest a little bit and then he'd say oh swim and this went on for an hour and a half and he realized that they were gonna die there because not one boat had come up that channel wow. he kept saying to Mac Hang on, Mac, hang on, a boat is going to come. But he didn't really believe that because he didn't believe in anything. He believed in wine, women, and song. That's what he worshipped every day. Mm -hmm. He didn't believe that a boat was coming. He didn't believe that Booga was going to get to shore. He remembered the time that his sister tried to talk to him about God, and he kicked her out of the house, called her a fruitcake. But another half hour went by and it was still misty and there were no boats and he knew they were going to die and he thought, what choice do I have? He said, are, are you up there, God? If you're up there, please send a boat. Give me another, give me a second chance, God. Give us a second chance. Not two minutes later, he saw what he thought was a cross coming through the mist. It was the mast of a boat. Mm. And, he, and he said, Mac, hold on to me. He took his shirt off, he put it on the pole, and he waved it in the air. They see us, Mac, they see us, they're coming, they're coming. And a little boat came over, put him in the boat, they went over, they got on the boat, and he had the biggest God wink of his life because the boat's name was Second Chance. Wow. And when they got to shore, there was Booga. He got a second chance, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here it is. Yeah. Be careful what you ask for. You just might get it, right? <laughs> in, in every detail. Uh, you know, I, I will share with you, 20 years ago, I remember I first came to Houston, there was a man standing on the street corner asking for change. And, you know, we see that a lot, and sometimes we pass by. Uh, but for some reason, that one just tugged at my heart. And I literally had to go around and make my way back. And, you know, in Houston traffic, when you go around, it's mm. like, the, you, that's a commitment, oh, right? Yes, yeah. So right. I just thought, yeah. I have to, something pulled at me. I have to give this Good man some you. money. And so I finally got around, and I gave him like, a couple of big bills I had in my, my wallet. And I was like, okay, well, th th it's better served with him. 20 years later, the man runs into me and says, thank you so much. Um, he goes, by the way, I'm the pastor of this church. Wow. Because I had fallen on really hard times. <gasps> and today wow. he's a pastor. He goes, I know what it's like to live on the streets. I know what it's like to be hungry. Yeah. He goes, you had just moved <gasps> here, and yeah. you gave me that money. And I, yes. I was able to get a place to stay that night. <gasps> so. Uh, yeah. That's what kind of turned his life around. Yeah. So if he's out there this that morning, good, good morning. That was a God wink. Yeah. And yeah. God winks happen when you reach out to someone else. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Now, mm -hmm. now, Deborah, he got the God wink right. unexpectedly from you. Yes. And you were the God wink link. That's right. The unwitting messenger right. of a God wink to yeah. him. That's yeah. Right. All right, so there, there's the new book Ooh. series, God wink link. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, you're headed to Hallmark because these stories are yes. in books, but we, yep. now we're going to have we them. We have the movie. Yeah. We filmed yeah. it. It's yeah. going to premiere yeah. November 18th yeah. on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Yeah. <gasps> we're so excited. Yeah. It's called A God wink Christmas. And yeah. with all this turmoil and craziness we have going on yes. right now, yeah. what we love is that we actually have these kind of feel good movies That's because right. really, yeah. I think this is the, 
Uh, this is what most of the world really is That's and yes. what most of people really want. We yeah. see in the news what's called unusual yes. and, and it's hurtful and you have to be watchful of it, but it's not the way the most people That's feel. Right. And yeah. I think it's nice to restore right. the way most yeah. people feel uh, when you're dealing with tough times that, that yeah. the committee steps up to help you. We saw yes. that here with Harvey. So I, right. I appreciate oh. your books. I appreciate right. what you're doing mm. with your movies. And before we go, we cannot go without you doing a couple of impressions for us because she is known as one of the best impressions in the world. Give yeah. us, share Barbara, whoever you're going to give well, us. Well, maybe Bart Simpson. Hey, dude, what's happening, man? Nobody lay a finger on my butterfinger, man. <laughs> See, I never know who I'm waking up next to. <laughs> That's why you'll be married forever because you've got all kinds of women there. Hey, George, George <laughs> Burns. We got, we got to do a little George Burns. He lived to be 100 when I was a boy. The Dead Sea was only sick. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. All right, the movie A God Wink Christmas will air on November 18th at 8 p.m. on the Hallmark Channel. The book God Wink Christmas Stories is now available for purchase. And for more information on Squire and Louise, we have a link on greatdayhouston.com. Thank, Thank you all you very so much. much. Thank